there's been a research paper where it's compared ketoconazole shampoo with 2% minoxidil. Remember, topical minoxidil that you find freely available um, over the counter is 5%, but they've compared it with 2% minoxidil, and they've, they've shown in those, uh, in those two individual, group, individual groups, the efficacy of the ketoconazole is comparable with the efficacy of 2% minoxidil. So, you know, take from that what you will. So I think in, you know, on balance, I, I, it's not something I reach for regularly. I think yeah, I would use it if I um, examine someone, I see that they've got quite a flaky scalp. That may be something that I might uh, consider. But if I'm seeing someone with male pattern hair loss, it, you know, it's not something I would go, oh, look, definitely be on uh, ketoconazole shampoo. Um, it's not even something I'd probably even consider if someone couldn't tolerate finasteride. So if you trial someone on finasteride and then unable to tolerate even a small dose um, to say, oh, look, try a topical ketoconazole uh, will be sufficient. I think the, the evidence is not there for that either. So I generally uh, have not seen a great deal of positive results from it, but uh, I would suggest, uh, suggest it if I examined someone and saw that someone had quite a, a flaky scalp. 